In this question we are asked to calculate a confidence interval. The random variable in question is the duration of unemployment spells and we shall use the variable name d for that. Uh, we are also given the information that we know that this variable is normally distributed with a certain variance, 129.6. So further, we're being told that there is a random sample of size 20. And that in that sample, we can measure the average uh, unemployment duration as being 14.7 months. So given that we know that D is normally distributed and the variance is known, we can conclude that D bar the sample average is also normally distributed with some mean, we call it mu d bar and variance sigma squared d bar. Now sigma squared d bar is related to sigma squared d, the variance of the random variable d itself, via this formula. It's equal to sigma squared d divided by n and we have both these variables, uh, both these values, so the variance of d bar is equal to 6.48 and that means that the standard deviation of d bar is the square root of that square root of 6.48 and that's 2.5456 so we will need that in the calculation of the confidence interval so now the general structure of the confidence interval there's a probability and here that probability is going to be 98%. Uh, and the question is the probability of what? In this case, we want a confidence interval for the population mean, that is this mu d, the unknown average length of unemployment spells. And we'll have a lower and an upper boundary, and they will be centered around that our sample average d bar. And then we'll subtract something and that is a product of two things. Firstly, some value from our distribution, in our case the normal distribution, and that multiplied with the standard deviation of d bar. Okay, so d, d bar we knew was 14.7. We could already calculate uh, sigma d bar, the standard deviation of d bar, so now we still need that n 0.01 that comes from standard normal table. I um, assume you know how to do that. Uh, 2.33, that is that value in the standard normal distribution that cuts off 1% of the probability. So then we just plug in all these values and the result we get is that the uh, lower bound is 8.7688 and the upper bound 20.6312. So there's a 98% probability that the true but unknown average duration of unemployment spells is between these two values.